Hi, everyone. Um, I am Cheyenne Sauter with ArtShare Los Angeles, and I'm excited to share with you a really cool project that we've been working on with Angel City Brewery um, and highlight Marina today um, in her artwork. So um, Dan Jones is here with me and pointing to my, my left. <laughs> um, and he works with Angel City Brewery. We Art Chair and Angel City has been working together for gosh seven years now, seven or eight years in a partnership to um, to add artwork and add galleries, um, gallery works, and and create you know live mural projects. Uh, we've just been doing so many amazing art projects together. Uh, and, and this beer can series, the artist can series came out of that partnership. And I would love for you, Dan, to speak a little bit on that partnership and, and what this beer can series is for Angel City. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, on its face, it, it, uh, it, it came together fairly obviously. Um, when we opened our doors and, and started brewing beer. We knew we wanted to be a strong and valuable community partner. And we wanted to actually, you know, live that, not just say it. And I don't think you could do that in the arts district of Los Angeles without supporting arts somehow. Uh, and Art Chair LA was kind of a perfect fit. And there are many opportunities and needs that we have to uh, showcase local artists and work with uh, you all. And, um, you know, there's a pretty solid uh, and fun history of beer cans as art. Uh, and there's a lot of appreciation for beer can art uh, in the craft beer world. Uh, you know, I think it's kind of growing every day with the craft beer industry. And as soon as we were able to, you know, there are some infrastructure concerns uh, and things of that nature but as soon as we were able to we were really really excited to reach out and see how we might possibly able to showcase some local artists on our beer cans uh, and that's that's really how it came together um, I don't know if there was any uh, deeper consideration beyond that we just you know we wanted to have fun uh, beer should be fun and we wanted to embrace our community and hopefully that's what it looks like we're doing <laughs> Yeah, it definitely does to us. And our yeah. chair's been um, so, so proud to be kind of uh, reached out to and and supported in your efforts. Um, and you recognize that we do have a great connection to the artists in Los Angeles. So that means so much to us. Yeah. I would love to talk to you a little bit about the, um, the selection process mm -hmm. um, and how it is tied to the flavor of the beer. So it's, it's funny, at first, um, when we were trying to move very quickly, we actually deliberately tried to avoid tying the selection process to the flavor, just in case we ran into some hiccups with recipe development or getting approval on a beer. Uh, and since then, that's smoothed out. And now it's, um, uh, we have, our, our brewing team comes up with uh, the four beers that they'd like to release as part of the series. That's what we've been went, been doing for the last two years. And we ask our chair for a, uh, a, a set of artists who might be interested in working with us. And you've sent over a PDF and we just kind of get together and talk about it. And it's really fun and easy. It's, it's probably one of the easier projects that I work on consistently, to be honest. Um, you know, there's no there's no, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. It's just like, oh, this is cool, this is cool. And then we sort of backtrack and say, all right, well, this is cool because of this, which makes sense with that flavor of beer or that style of beer. Um, and honestly, usually it's kind of a unanimous decision or you know, it's split between two artists, but things seem to just sort of gel and make sense for some reason. Um, yeah, it, it's interesting. We're always amazed at how quickly you guys come back with your choice and how yeah. um, it, like band-aid ripping it is. It just seems like a really, really uh, a fun process for you guys. Uh, from it really team. is. It's super cool. Um, and it's always exciting to see, you know, the new artists um, and try and envision what it can might look like. Right. Uh, yeah. Um, and so, and from Archer's standpoint um, and for artists out there listening, 
um, it is really, really easy to be considered to uh, for this project. Uh, we're constantly collecting artwork from artists in Los Angeles to send in artwork, samples of their work, and we're constantly culling through it. And what we do is when a company comes to us to look for a piece of work for something specific or an artist to do a specific project, we compile 10 to 15 artists' artwork into a deck send it over to the company so that they can do the selection curating portion. Um, mm -hmm. And and that is, therein lies the secret of our chair. It's very democratic, it's very egalitarian, and we want to just make sure everyone has an equal um, ability to be seen by, by companies for projects like this. So. Yeah, you, you do so it thanks. very well. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, uh, we've got some practice. Um, well, I am so, so thrilled for the first time to share, um, I'm going to screen share and share the artwork that was selected. Um, and Marina, you'll have to forgive me, I forgot to ask you to help me with your name. Um, so I'm just going to keep referring to you as Marina Tim, but I'm going to share my screen um, to show you the work for the Angel City BOSS Beer Blood Orange Saison Spritz. And there it is. Congratulations, is Marina. So We're Dan, really excited about this. Yeah, so Dan, before I get over to Marina, tell me what about her design spoke uh, Blood Orange Saison Spritz? Um, when we started talking about this, and I'll be totally honest, I haven't had the opportunity to taste this beer yet, which is disappointing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, but we knew it's so it's it's cocktail inspired. It's inspired by uh, an aperitif spritz, you know, like an aperol spritz. And we wanted something that felt kind of sophisticated, um, had uh, not necessarily an Art Deco feel exactly, but that's something that's pretty prevalent in Los Angeles's history. Uh, so when we kind of go into that sophisticated, maybe you know not nightclub um, but elegant world that's sort of where we start to lean and uh, we still wanted something that had uh, a human element some sort of hand touch to it and I think you know that the the color blocking here and the paper texture uh, and you know the little bit of roughness that kind of shows up in some areas just all really felt like it made sense for something that was cocktail inspired, but a Saison, which is a, a, a farmhouse style ale. Um, and it just, it just felt right. We all, this one, I, I actually remember we all, uh, this was a unanimous one. We all saw your, the, the few, the pieces that, that uh, our chair sent over and we were like, yeah, this, this seems like it would be absolutely perfect for this beer. So Marina, how's that feel to hear all of that? Feedback? That feels really good. Um, this was this was my only try. This was, you know, this was the only design that I, mm -hmm. um, I did, and the only one I sent over. And then I lived it for a couple of days, and Morgan from Art Share just said they love it. It's great. And I was like, all right. So yeah. It works. And we try. We I I personally try not to um, push back too much uh, or ask for too many revisions on. Uh, art that any of the artists send over because if you're happy with it, you know, we again, we, we want this to be something that, that kind of showcases the artist. So if, if you're happy with it, which you absolutely should be, then, then we're happy with it too. You know, there might be times where we say like, oh, you know, this is, you know, if, if you had sent over something that was more pink and because it's blood orange, we might have said, can we, can we make it a little more orange? But we try not to mess with the art too much because um, I think that's kind of the cool part of the series is the these are all really unique uh, and uh, I think it would be less less authentic and also less fun for us if we were uh, going back and forth trying to get you to change your art uh, for, for our cans. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you sent it over and, and you, you nailed it. It looked really cool. <laughs> And Marina, I understand that this is a, an original piece, an actual physical piece of artwork. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And ha have you sh shown it in, in a couple places? No, it's been sitting behind me on the desk. Would you like to see it? I would love to see it. I would love to. <laughs> 
Yeah, the, the work is so beautiful and so clean, and mm -hmm. I too can't wait to really uh, to try this. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful, Marina. That's really cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Well, I would love to um, chat with you, Marina, a little bit about your artwork because this piece, uh, while it's going to be memorialized on a beautiful can of beer, your work is very, very uh, has a has a um, has notes um, throughout all of your pieces that kind of speak to this modern Bauhaus clean. Um, look. So I'm going to click over to your Instagram page just to share a little bit about your work. Um, and while I do that, if you could talk a little bit about your inspiration. I mean, for me, I was definitely drawn to your work because it's reticent of Kelly Ells um, Ellsworth Kelly and um, a couple of artists in that Bauhaus area era. Um, so if you could talk a little bit about your influences and what uh, what draws you to these shapes and, and shades. Um, right, so I think I started with Dada, you know, Dada inspired art, and I just love the, um, the aesthetic and just the idea behind it and the randomness and just, you know, like a bit of a chaos and rebellion, a little bit of like just, um, and then it, the more, and then I think I moved away from that because I just, uh, grew up, got older, and I wanted to do something that was a little bit more elegant, a little more grown up, and um, I, I didn't think about this, it just kind of happened, and then, uh, so I used paper, and I think I just get inspired by the textures and the papers, and I go from there. I don't really, I don't usually sit down knowing what I'm going to do. Um, I know maybe the materials that I'm going to use, maybe just like a few colors and and then just go from there. Um, it's pretty random. Cool. But and how do you select your, um, the paper that you work with? Is it about feel for you? Is it about look? So I go to Hiromi Paper in uh, Cover City and I just drive the employees crazy. And I go through all of their paper, and I usually have somebody uh, helping me, and they're really wonderful there. They're really patient. And, you know, for the European design, I showed up there, and I was like, you have to help me. This is an emergency. Like, I need paper, and I need you to help me, and I need these things. And, and he was like, okay, okay, we can do this. And it took me about an hour to select the paper, and... And I went home, and then I went right back there the next day and bought more paper. And then I think it was that day that I did the piece. I did it in, in one evening. No. Awesome. Um, so does, does taking the artwork from that kind of paper, you know, giving it texture and flattening it to print it on aluminum, do you think that takes away from the design at all, or does it change it? What does that do for you? Um, I don't. I, I mean, I think this is great. I, I love the way it looks on the can. I don't usually have prints made for that reason. Mm -hmm. um, a friend of mine asked me if she could have a print of my work, and I just told her that I'll send her the original because I just didn't want to. Uh, you know, it's so pretty in person. Like that. Uh, it's like the, the Japanese paper, you know, like the little edges and like the way it catches the light and you can see the texture yeah. and, and the way it feels and this one is sort of translucent but not quite. And so and they're, they're so special and I'm, I'm completely obsessed as you can see. Um, I, I am a fan of journals. I have uh, probably four different journals in front of me. I love different papers and textures and stuff, so I'm totally with you. And um, I just, I'm not as creative as you to cut them up and put, like, and collage them in a beautiful way. So um, kudos to you for finding a way to, to express your love of paper into these uh, collages. <laughs> He's, um, 
I don't know, it was kind of unexpected, but it just grew and grew, and the more I, the more paper I bought, the more I wanted to, and um, the more um, risks I took with the textures and the colors, the better it seemed to work, and mm -hmm. um, I started off with like just, you know, like a really, uh, I would use a really old printer, and I would run photocopies through trying to make them look as bad as possible as like as um, um and now I need this amazing paper. Well that's great. And where else can somebody find your work to purchase it? And is that piece behind you for sale? Um yeah it is. I don't know. I don't have a uh you can just get in touch with me on Instagram and DM okay. me. Right now, I don't have like. Uh, That's okay. This is the first step. We'll get you there. Um, and and if you need help with that sort of support, uh, Morgan at Artshare can definitely help you. Um, we're here to make sure your work is seen where it needs to be seen. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to share before we? Oh, uh, Morgan wanted to know: Do you drink beer? And if so, what is your favorite kind? Um, well, I think Morgan knows the answer to this question because I've had beers with Morgan at the <laughs> city. We yes. have a show that he curated, and I came to see it and say hi. And I have a pilsner, um, and it's really good. Um, awesome. I think that's my favorite kind. I like light beer. Um, mm -hmm. There was a French, no, Belgian beer that tasted like raspberries. I like that one as well. So uh, I do like fruity beers. Nice. I wonder if this one is going to be. Yeah, I think we I think we got the right the right uh, right beer for your art to go on then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that should be a should be a light, refreshing, fruity beer. So nice. Yeah. And um, and it's not yet released um, as the date of this filming, but it'll be released very soon. Um, are dates aligned yet, Dan? Um. <laughs> I know. It's uh, tough as, right now. <laughs> as with many things uh, right now, our, our plans have sort of been uh, upended. So I I don't know the exact the exact dates that it, that we're hoping to have it out. Unfortunately, uh, no but I, I yeah I I would hope um, by September. But honestly, I I really don't want to say anything concrete just because I think you know. Things are a, a little crazy right now. <laughs> definitely, definitely. I think the world is changing before our eyes. And if we're not noticing that, then we need to open our eyes a little wider. Yeah. That piece well, is so beautiful. I keep staring at it. What? What is? The piece behind you. Oh, isn't it lovely? Yeah, that's artist Augustine Coffey. He's in Los Angeles, from, born and raised from Los Angeles. We had the pleasure of showing his work, but he also has murals throughout the arts district and the world. Um, but yeah, that definitely, um, definitely could have been a competing one for your your spot at this beer can. But I'm glad, I'm glad it was you. I'm glad I didn't have to compete against him. <laughs> um, well. Um, Thank you guys so much for your time. Um, this means so much to me um, to, to get this interview out there and get the reasoning why behind these, these beer cans. And when, when it does open, if the beer hall is open, Marina, Tim will be on site um, sharing her artwork and um, answering any questions and, and cheersing and drinking beers with everyone. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to fellowship soon. Yes, hopefully soon. Yeah. Thank you so much. This was fun. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it was so awesome to see you yeah. guys. Thank and you. Marina, thank you for the, the beautiful art for the can. We're, we're really excited about this one. Thank you for choosing me. Yeah. That was completely unexpected. Morgan's 